Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to UMRV. As you can see, we are getting going on wheat harvest. <clears throat> um, I did let the combine do his end rows, and then he uh, started on a couple of his up downs when I was not paying attention. But uh, we are getting rolling here on this uh, as you can see we are dropping the straw we only ended up with 151 bales off of field 34 there so we are going to bale up this whole field as well uh, I'm gonna bale this field off camera just cuz bailing kinda gets to be a tedious and repetitive task it gets to be kinda boring at least to me anyways uh, not sure I guess if a lot of you agree with that or not but to me it gets to be kind of boring so I will be uh, taking care of that off camera I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy get turned around and then needs to be unloaded and then we should be able to get the grain truck full. I know the uh, pup trailer on the truck is almost full, so we'll get that filled up and then start dumping on our mower trailer there. This guy isn't going to empty out before the end, so he'll stop down here and we'll... Uh, get the grain cart filled up because this is going to fill the cart. Almost did not stop in time. Perfect. So we are filled up. So we're going to head on over to our trucks and we will get this unloaded and make our way back to do it again. I think if we unload the combine one more time, then we'll be able to uh, um, fill up or top off our mower trailer because we aren't going to get it full with this grain card load. So and I think we might actually have to move that truck in order to be able to uh, unload into it. Oh no, we can get over there. Never mind. Uh, auger up so we can go ahead and get this dumped in here perfect okay and that is full so we're going to go ahead and back on up here we'll swing around and we'll dump on this trailer Definitely need a little bit taller of a crank cart to be unloading into this trailer. It's pretty close. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fire both of these trucks up. So that way we can let them build up air pressure while we go and grab a little bit more. Perfect. We'll get them fired up. And we are empty, so we're going to go ahead and drop the auger back down for now. Perfect. Alright, let's hop back up in here to this field. And our combine is just about half full already, so. up there and wait for him to get a little bit more on him before we go and 
dump it. Yeah, we're 66% on our uh, Mauer trailer, so. <clears throat> and I see in this tractor we're at half a tank. We're at less than half a tank on our combine. Our Mack truck is a little under half a tank as well. So we're going to have to uh, spend a little money on some diesel fuel here after wheat harvest before we get going on corn and soybeans. So I think come October we're probably going to start off, we'll get our corn chopped, um, kind of see how much of that we're going to end up using and then we'll s probably start on soybeans so we'll just kind of leave our uh, grain head sit out and uh, that way it's ready for us I'm just going to pull this equipment up into the yard and let it sit there so not uh, not gonna worry about it too terribly much because it's all gonna get used again in a couple months anyways this and then we'll go top off our Mauer trailer and get our trucks unloaded so we can keep on rolling. Definitely getting a fair amount of wheat off of this field as well so that is very good. I'm happy with that. Hopefully our uh, soybeans and corn will do well also. And then have a good little chunk of money after we sell everything off. We should have enough in here to fill that trailer because it's over half full so we'll see here maybe we might be close at least. We could always just let the combine get turned around again and unload them, but we should be pretty close with this. Go ahead and kick our auger out here. Let's see, is this going to fill this truck up? Oh yeah, she'll fill her up. Perfect. That'll work out good then. Awesome. Okay, we're going to leave this guy sit right here for the minute. And we're going to grab this truck. Now let's see. This one's kind of sitting in a dump spot. There we go. That'll work. Perfect. We'll go ahead and hop up here and get this guy unloaded. <clears throat> cool. This will be another 
1155 bushels dumped on in there. Just under 2,000 bushels between this truck and our other leased truck. Combine I see is at 60%, another half hour left on that field. This guy back. We can park him up in the field now. Oh, deer running out of the bushes. So we're going to take this other road so we don't have to drive through the field itself quite so much with this truck. Take this little side road here. Be nice if when you go under trees like that. Breaker one nine, breaker one nine, I'm stuck. Might need some tow chains. Come back. Very confused there for a split second of what in the world was going on. But um, it'd be nice if when you drive through trees like that, if they uh, would uh, move out of the way, similar to real life. So we're going to go unload him first, and then we'll come back and we'll get that truck moved. So we want to keep that combine rolling. It's definitely handy to have this grain cart this year. Uh, last year, I did not have a grain cart. So, combine was stopped quite a bit, and we only had the one truck. So, keeping up with the combine was a no-go. Especially because uh, we didn't have a hired hand last year, so... We, uh, we were combining and trucking by ourselves last year. 10-4, good buddy. I'm right back at it. So, we, uh, we were not all too productive last year. But now that we've got our hired hand, and, uh, we have kind of made friends with the neighbors now as well, so... They are uh, willing to help out at times too. Earns them a little extra cash too, so I'm sure that they aren't complaining. So we're gonna let him do his thing. Empty this guy. So we should be about we should be pretty close to 7,000 bushels once we dump this truck. We'll take a look here once we're done, but the truck did not want 
have to stop there. We'll go ahead and dump this trailer. Menu. 6,869.9 bushels. So we're just a little under 7,000. It's kind of where I thought we would be. So we're definitely getting a pretty good wheat crop. I definitely cannot uh, complain too much about what we're getting here. Proving to be pretty good. So that is a plus. I'm actually just going to go along the edge here. So we only rented this truck for the duration of wheat harvest, but uh, I did talk with a neighbor of ours and he's got a um, real nice cab over Pete and a little bit bigger hopper trailer um, that he did offer to let us use during corn harvest. Um, he said he didn't put any corn in this year for combining anyways. Uh, he's just got some to chop, so he won't need his truck um, at the time that we're combining corn. So he offered to let us use it. Um, for, he actually offered to let us use it for soybeans and corn, so um, he said he'll rent it to us anyways, I guess. not. We're not just taking it free of charge. We are going to rent it from him, so that'll be uh, very helpful to have. Especially with it being a bigger trailer than that one. Um, I did, because uh, the reason they want that truck back, um, the dealership, is they have someone else that, um, they had somebody else contract that truck out uh, in... August for their barley. Otherwise, we could have uh, just extended our contract for that truck and just kept it through uh, corn and soybean harvest, but they had somebody already contracted for it, so that was a no go. So, luckily, the neighbor um, offered up his. Now, the dealership did say that there is a chance that that truck will be back before uh, corn and soybeans, uh, especially corn. So, if that ends up being the case, um, we will try and get our hands on this truck and trailer again, and uh, then we can run this too, and it will kind of help keep up uh, on our corn harvest. But we'll see uh, kind of how our corn runs first. It's not super high 
then uh, we shouldn't need this additional truck uh, in addition to our neighbor's rig. But if it's running pretty high, then we might see if we can't get this truck and trailer again uh, or a different truck and trailer if they have something else sitting around at the time. So we'll kind of have to uh, just kind of keep in contact with them and just kind of see what they have going on. And we'll have to also see kind of what we have sitting for finances come then. Um, I mean, we did already kind of plan out to spend a couple thousand on that uh, cab over and hopper trailer, so we, uh, we'll have to see kind of what, what our finances are looking like, because we don't exactly have a ginormous amount of money sitting around that we can just spend, so we'll see. We might be able to uh, make something work or we'll just run with what we get. And it's not a huge hopper trailer that the neighbor has. Um, I mean, it's not super little like this mower is either, but he does also have a larger hopper trailer and a newer semi, like a he's got a 389 Peterbilt and uh, a decent sized Wilson trailer but he doesn't think that one will be around um, that trailer he said might be hauling out some grain or it might be hauling in his fertilizer and seed or he might even be having it hauling out some grain um, so he uh, said he couldn't promise anything with that one, but he said if that one is around, then he would also rent that one to us if we should need it. But that one would obviously be a little bit more just because it's a bigger trailer and uh, newer truck. So we'll just kind of have to play it by ear and see what, uh, see what is going on at that time. Nineteen minutes left, so he's making good time. We're over halfway done, so we're about three quarter of the way done with this field, actually. So we're getting close. So then, uh, what I'll do off camera is um, I'll finish up the little bit of wheat that'll be left and I'll get everything dumped into our silos and uh, I'll get everything kind of shuffled around we'll take everything to the farm and I'll get everything fueled up and uh, ready for soybeans and then uh, I'll get all the baling taken care of and get those hauled out and then when we come back, we will be doing a little bit of silaging and getting that done. And uh, hopefully we'll have a pretty decent amount of silage for our cows. I mean, we do have quite a bit of corn planted, so we, since we're going to chop everything first, we do kind of have a uh, decent amount of corn that we can chop. Obviously, I don't want to chop everything, but for sure our field uh, 29 up here will be combined because that's going to give us a 
very hefty amount of corn. That's a pretty large field, so I'd like to pick up, you know, like 36 here, um, maybe 44, 45, 47, something like that. You know, those are kind of the going to be the next stages. Um, let's see here. So if I buy this, this is just about 1.4 million, and that gives us fields 49 and 50. Uh, 47 here is 531,000. Um, that one is 634,000. 36 is, oof, that one's almost a million. That's pretty steep. So this is all in one field as well. Uh, we do have some kind of strip fields up here, but there's a lot of them included in that. and That's a pretty hefty dollar amount there as well. kind of included and everything else so I mean it's not going to be cheap to uh, up or add additional land that's for sure it's going to be a pretty uh, pretty penny and I would definitely like to kind of upgrade some equipment too now I do also have this uh, where's it at here field leasing um, that we could use, but we'll have to kind of see. Um, so farmland one, what, uh, what is that exactly? Okay, so that's the river. So let's see here, farmland 40, which is field 45, what would that cost us? That would cost us a little under $3,300 a day. Um, 47 would be a little over 4500 a day. So it's definitely uh, doable that way could just kind of do a rental contract on it from the current owners if they'll let us um, I was gonna have to see I know uh, I did hear through the grapevine of some potential land rent uh, land going up for rent soon so I'll have to kind of keep our ear out for that um, they didn't quite say what land is coming up for rent um, so we'll kind of have to see I know they did also mention um, we were in town getting some supplies the other day and someone did say um, Something about this Dry Creek Ranch going up for rent. Um, but they didn't specify if it was like the main yard and bin complex and machine sheds. Or if it was this hog farm uh, that's going up for rent. So, uh, not sure... They just kind of said that they heard it, you know, another one of those heard it through the grapevine kind of things, so not really sure um, if it's going to be the main yard or the pig barn there or uh, kind of what's, not sure what the deal is there yet. If it's just that main yard, then we might kind of veer away from it um, not really sure if I'd want to rent that hog barn or not either um, let's see 
I think we'll just finish off Wheat Harvest. We'll make this video a little bit longer. Because our combine's only got 10 minutes left, so we'll just let him get finished up here. Because we're pretty close, so. If we still had another 20 some minutes or something like that left, then then maybe I would uh, kind of push it off, but I think we'll just kind of keep on rolling here. We're almost done. But the baling, I still will. I'll get everything moved. Um, we'll dump our trucks yet in this video just so we can see what we end harvest with in terms of uh, grain. If our corn does pretty good this year, we might uh, put some more corn in. Uh, we do got to meet with our uh, agronomist here soon and kind of talk to him about our plan for next year. Um, I think next year for um, making straw bales, I think we're going to look into running oats next year. Um, and just kind of hold on to that stuff, and, uh, we'll see, though, I guess, where we're at next year. If we do pick up hogs, we might even need the oats. I don't remember now what exactly, uh, you feed pigs again. I don't know. I think oats would get used for horses, which I don't believe is on this map. I see we got there's a little yard up here up by field 10 and then there is another yard up here the uh, Valley Bluff farm so I know this uh, century farm down here would be really nice they got a nice big shop down there they got a few bins and uh, they do also have a hog farm or a hog building down there would be uh, a nice yard to have eventually one day I'd like to kind of um, move up here and kind of move up to this dairy farm uh, it'd be that'd be really nice to uh, have that big operation up there maybe give our give a try on uh, dairy Instead of just our old Angus cows. Well, we'll kind of have to see. Speaking of cows, how are the cows doing? They are doing pretty good. So that is a good thing. And I got this job covered. Good to see you, boss. 60%. While we're waiting on him, I'm going to go ahead and jump in this guy. And we're going to get that course loaded up while I'm thinking of it. Um, 33. Perfect. Let me set that to the first waypoint. I don't need to start the engine. I'm not trying to move the loader. Calm down. sure that he's going to be able to finish that. So let's go ahead and quick unload him right here first. Because he is looking pretty full over there, so. We're going to unload him quick. Let him uh, continue on his way and he'll be able to finish this field off then. He's just about done. That. I 
we might want to. This shader is kind of nice, but it seems to darken everything down quite a bit. And I kind of, I don't know, I don't mind it, but I kind of don't like that. I might, uh, might have to do some looking around for some different uh, shader files. See if I find something I like a little bit better. I do kind of like uh, the fact that you can switch your shaders in the in-game menu. And our 4960 is starting to get up there in hours. She's got 18 hours on her already. What are we doing on damage here? We're only 23%. 6%. Good, good, good. Who's doing that? I want to take a look here at the work plan. I gotta remember. So we got lime, mulch, plow, fertilizer one and two. Okay. So yeah, we'll have to uh, go in and we'll make up a. Uh, new work plan with our agronomist for next year um, because of the fact that we aren't putting any wheat in next year uh, we're just going to do oats we don't need to um, worry about going in like right now to get it done uh, because we don't have anything that's going to need to go in this year. We don't have to do any planting until next year, so. Hey boss, all done with this job. Over. Perfect. I'm not going to have him turn around just to grab that itty bitty small spot, so. We'll just go ahead and we'll empty this out. This guy moved off to the side here. Perfect. How are we doing on this guy? He is actually doing pretty good. He's only 8% for damage. So it actually fared uh, through harvest season pretty well. So we'll go dump this into our grain truck and then we'll get this thing tarped and uh, moved off the field get our trucks dumped and we'll be good to go and then uh, after we end the video I'll go ahead and I'll run that uh, I'll either run that truck back or maybe they'll come get it. I'll have to give them a call. So we'll get her all fueled up for them and everything and get it cleaned up. Make sure it's looking good and that way it's ready to go for them. Which thankfully it hasn't used much fuel, so we won't have to spend too much on that. So we're just going to take this guy and pull it right up here by the combine and we'll be good to go. Cool, we'll shut that down there. And we'll jump on in here and we'll go get this dumped. Then we'll 
we'll get our final number. Well, I guess we're going to take the ditch to get out of there. I kind of missed that last curve. So we're probably just going to leave this truck kind of sit over here because... It's kind of out of our way. We're just under a full green truck. It's 99% full. This shit's pretty close. Gonna leave this guy sit right up here off to the side. So we're gonna tarp the truck and trailer just in case it uh, happens to storm or anything at all. Uh, before soybeans. the last of it 750 more bushels to dump and then we are ready to rock this dumped and we'll get on out of here for the day perfect all right let's take a look at what we got here so we ended with 8193 bushels of wheat so we did pretty good we can go ahead and uh, we can turn that off because we are done. Perfect. Alrighty, guys, that's gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, get on the phone here and figure out what these guys want me to do with this truck. If they want me to bring it back or if they're gonna come grab it, uh, and then I'm gonna get everything else taken to the farm, fueled up, and parked uh, for now. And then uh, get that bailing taken care of so that way we can be done with that. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll catch you all in the next one.